Thanks, everyone, for the responses to my plea for more OBS, or actuals, as us MTs call them. That being reliable snowfall measurements in the S2S Alpine. But your response, unfortunately, has triggered another ranting video essay. Not a rant about climate change nonsense. That's all on Twitter now. At djones underscore weather, by the way. Uh, but a rant about weather nonsense at Whistler. That's fair game, because it directly affects you, my client. Believe it or not, I've spent 25 years trying to penetrate what can only be described as thick as two planks or sillier than a bag of hammers to inform this resort community there is a better way to do weather. And... It will save you money, duh. I'm old enough to know it's never a good idea to speculate about the motives of others, but I'm kind of there right now and a bit hot about it. So I'll cut to the chase and risk alienating some portion of the audience for the benefit of all. I think that's fair game, because this is a team, and if any part of any team I play for does not pull its weight, they get a bloody earful, at least on the good teams. Sometimes I think of myself as the Michael Jordan of weather, punching Steve Kerr right in the face and Steve Kerr actually appreciating it. Chicago Bulls legend Michael Jordan is known for his demanding temperament. Sure, it probably rubbed many opponents and teammates alike the wrong way. But it also meant it didn't take long to figure out who could and who couldn't stand up to the pressures of sharing the floor and rock with his airness. One person who could? Steve Kerr. As teammates, the current Golden State Warriors head coach earned the current Charlotte Hornets owner's respect by getting punched in the face. Let's now throw it back to an awesome video. Phil put Steve Kerr opposite of me, but he was giving Steve all the calls. Before I knew it, I hauled off and just whacked it in the eye. With accompanying animation, Jordan tells the whole story in his installment of an old Michelle Beadle segment called Most Misunderstood Sports Stories. I went right up to him, I said, you know what? I'm totally sorry, I just lost my temper. He says it was partly my fault too, I knew not to push you. From that point on, I've always respected him. Kerr wound up with a black eye after the fight. He threw some punches before it was broken up too. Those boys represent competition in its purest form. And let me tell you, that type of competition is now seriously underrepresented. Having said all that, how about it, avalanche pros in the sea to sky? If you are really serious about your weather, and you should be, why are you not demanding better data and better data presentation from your employer? How in the hell do you expect to understand this very complicated subject otherwise? Because this is shit. I have exactly five seconds to look at this and figure out how much water fell with the three centimeters of snow yesterday, and another five seconds to assess any other fact or trend about what the hell just happened. Good luck with that. And you, Whistler Blackcomb, and avalanche professionals trying to predict the weather are the worse off for it. Only you don't realize it. Because you're not a weather professional like me. Cheerio.